technology it's meant to save lives for electric vehicle drivers being made right here in East Tennessee. We got a lot of geniuses around here. Some amazing work being done. There's a new company looking to sell this new tech. The company is called Sapphire. They held a ribbon cutting ceremony today at UT. John Piersos is here telling us what the company has in store. A new safety feature for electric vehicles will soon be made and distributed right here in East Tennessee. We are very excited to be in Knoxville. Sapphire CEO John Lee says the company is going to produce technology that goes inside lithium batteries for electric vehicles. The technology prevents the batteries from catching fire in a crash. Just as when airbags first came out, everybody said, why aren't airbags in every single car? And I think everyone will say, why isn't Sapphire in every single car, electric vehicle car? Lee says Sapphire is opening up a lab at the University of Tennessee where they'll bring in high paying jobs and interns. Lee says the technology was made at Oak Ridge Lab, a big reason why opening a lab in Knoxville makes sense. But he also points to Tennessee being a hotbed for electric vehicle manufacturing with more than $16 billion invested in EV projects since 2017. There's increased number of companies and factories, especially uh, even gigafactories that are being set up here around lithium ion batteries for electric vehicles. And we want to be in cl close proximity. Lee says the company was launched a couple of years ago, but is just now starting to commercialize. But the technology is not in EVs yet. Lee says the company is making prototypes for research and design and that they're trying to connect with battery manufacturers and the departments of transportation and energy. In Knoxville, John Piersos, WVLT News. Sounds like a good idea for your EV, right? Well, Lee says it's difficult to say exactly when that new tech is going to make it into our vehicles. They have to go through a research and design phase first, so it'll probably be a while.